I don't think he's going anywhere. I think he, I think he wants to uh, stay here because he's, he's rebuilt this program and I don't think he wants to go anywhere. One of these days, the coaching carousel at U of H will come to an end. Maybe that's optimistic on my part. After all, recent history has proven otherwise. Coach after coach deciding it's always greener on the other side, usually greener as in money with a little success sprinkled in. Now, Kelvin Sampson, however, seems like the person to finally say, you know what? Houston is a destination. What he's done in five years leading the Cougar basketball program is remarkable. The winning obvious, but it's the underlying change in culture that seems to have made the difference. I said, what, what are we doing here? You guys say you want to win, but what, what, what are you doing to win? You know, and I think the worst thing you can say to someone, well, that's, well, this is what we've always done especially when you haven't had success. Well, that's what you've always done. Well, let's stop right there. Just three years ago, Hoffines was empty. Now you can't find a seat at the Fertitta Center. The Cougars have a state-of-the-art practice facility, one Samson begged for and finally got. They just went 33-4, and four, and rumors still started swirling three days before their biggest game in 35 years that another U of H coach was going to be on the move to a bigger school where he can prove that he can still win at the Power 5 level. I could see that being enticing in football, but basketball? I'm not too sure. Unlike the gridiron where teams outside the Power Five are constantly on the outside looking in thanks to guys in suits and conference rooms, in basketball, everyone gets a chance. Championships settled on the floor in one of the best sporting events we have. Look at Gonzaga, Villanova. There are other small school examples. Why not Houston? Money? Well, Tillman Fertitta has already said that if Samson leaves, it wouldn't be for money. He wouldn't let that happen, as evidenced by the reported six-year, $18 million extension offer currently on the table. That would make Samson the 20th highest paid coach in the country. So you've got the money, you've got the facilities, you're in a basketball hotbed of talent, you're set up to get to the tournament every year to go head-to-head -head with the one-and-done schools, and you've already proven that an Elite Eight trip is possible with a group some might have said weren't capable of that at the start of the year. No wonder his players coming back next season don't think he's leaving. We're not really worried about that because we know he, he, we know he loves his job. We know he loves us. Uh, he loves Houston. His family loves us. So um, I, just, I, I feel secure. I ain't worried about Kellen, Kellen leaving. He gonna, he, he's, he's staying in, so I'm not really worried about it. But to come back is very important because, I mean, I just want to rede redeem ourselves again. Look, this isn't a knock on any other potential landing spot. Arkansas, for example, is a great program, great facilities, a challenge for any competitive coach to accept and turn around. But to be the guy that led a storied Houston program back to prominence? That's something. There's a fan base here that's been re-energized. This run bringing back memories of the days of Guy V. Lewis, Phi Slamma Jamma, a basketball school, appears to be that once again. Samson, in my opinion, is the perfect fit for U of H. His son by his side, his daughter working there too, a family atmosphere created off Cullen in every sense of the word. Even with all that, though, he might leave for reasons none of us really know. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. I just hope he doesn't, because as someone not even associated with U of H, but someone who considers himself a Houstonian, I'd like to see more of what we just saw for the city many years to come.